He is the original Renaissance man, Leonardo da Vinci, painter, inventor, and scientist extraordinaire. Leonardo was one of the most prolific geniuses of all time, yet some of our experts think his achievements are overrated. Leonardo da Vinci, whom you have in your list, is a wonderful mind, a wonderful figure, someone who we all admire, but I don't think that he really helped change the world. I mean, I just think that uh, having two Renaissance uh, is, is kind of amusing. And no medieval, no Greek artist, for Pete's sake. Get some sleep. Go on a vacation. Still, when all the votes were tallied, Leonardo da Vinci earned a place near the top of our millennium countdown. For you could say he invented the modern idea of the artist as visionary. Leonardo was the illegitimate son of a peasant girl and a Florentine notary. But what he lacked in paternity, he made up for in curiosity. Although we think of him as a painter, there are surprisingly few finished paintings by Leonardo. Yet his works, including The Extraordinary Last Supper and The Mona Lisa, would have a profound influence down through the ages. The Mona Lisa has a, a, a significance in history which may outweigh some of its merits as art. It is painted beautifully. I mean, it's an extraordinary picture. But there's no question that the Mona Lisa, for many people, represents art with a capital A. But da Vinci's greatest contribution may have nothing to do with art, for as a scientist, he towered over his contemporaries. He was ahead of his time in engineering, anatomy, hydraulics, and aerodynamics, to name but a few. He had a keen eye for the way things work, the circulation of the blood, the effect of the moon on tides. He designed literally thousands of things, from submarines to airplanes. Most were never built in his time, Tell your experts to get less tired. But they still inspire us today. A great deal of what we have of Leonardo is ideas, sketches, notebooks, unbelievably clear insights and observations of nature, um, aerodynamics, hydrodynamics. Uh, he invented the first helicopter on paper but didn't make it. He sort of rethought the world. Centuries would pass before his ideas took wing. And it would take even longer for us to understand all the concepts in his notebooks. Today, Leonardo stands as an icon, a visionary peering across the years. Yet, ironically, this man, so famous for the precision of his observation, was himself little observed, little known. Like his famous painting, he remains an enigma to this day. There stands Leonardo as the, the sort of quintessential definition of the genius, the man who could do everything and about whom there is a kind of mystery that is insolvable.